What's up, people? This is um, TBE Trucking's response to the um, Revolt Summit they had in Atlanta. And um, I'm not a Republican. I'm a part-time Democrat. I did vote twice for Obama. Anyway, I'm a truck driver. I'm at the shipper. That's why you see this fucking towel up here because light was coming through. But um, yeah, this is my response to uh, my review of the Revolt Summit and what I thought about it and um, Candace Owens and the other light-skinned child, forgot her name, uh, Trump apologist as I call them. And Candace brought up uh, something very important about illegal immigration and about how Illegal immigration is affecting black people more than it's affecting anything else. It's up on my screen. It's affecting anything else. And uh, she was right. She was right. I don't agree with her on a lot because I feel like she gets in front of white people and she talks down about blacks and they all sit there and shake their heads. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, black man's fault, his own fault. He's in the problems he's in. Yeah, but uh, some of this can be attributed to illegal immigration. And I'm going to bring it back to uh, talk about how my daughter came home from college. I got a daughter in college, 24 years old. She's in college, college graduate. Came back from school, and she said something about how Mexican people are picking strawberries and throwing water, they're doing all the jobs that we don't want to do and all this rasmus class and I'm like oh, you're forgetting your father works in construction you're forgetting I work in construction so therefore you're forgetting that I've lost jobs because of Mexicans and their lower wage that they're willing to work they're willing to work for a lower wage a wage I'm not willing to work for I'm not pipe fitting nothing for $16, $18 an hour. You understand? It is a $22 an hour plus job. Minimal $25 an hour. They're doing it for $18 and $17, $16 an hour. That's where they undercut us at. They're doing drywall. Brick land, concrete work, concrete time, road paving. They're not just doing all these little jobs and maids and picking oranges and all. A lot of stuff they're doing is hurting us. That is the truth. And that's the truth coming from a part time independent Democrat. That's coming from me. I'm not a Republican. So when Candace Owens says that, she's speaking the truth. They are, man. They're hurting us big time. Because they're undercutting us. Not because we don't dis we don't dislike them the way they dislike us. That's another thing I want to say. They fucking hate us. They do not respect us. They do not fucking like us. Now they're getting their comeuppance. They're getting their comeuppance right now. Because the same white people, they thought that they were their number one new minority, now stabbing them in the back. Yeah, those same owners of those businesses are voting for Trump. And what is Trump doing? Trying to kick their asses out of here. So I want you to think about that. Candace Owens is a line about that. She blurbates, she doesn't tell full whole truths when she talks sometimes. I listen to her. I've been listening to political and political radio for a long time. So you can't run anything by me that I haven't seen or haven't heard. Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, all of Mark Levin, all of them. I've listened to all of them. And there's certain issues, they just don't stand with black people on, period. They don't care what we've been through. They just don't. Pull yourselves up by the bootstraps. Go get it like I get it. Yeah, motherfucker, but I don't look like you. All right? I get judged by what I look like when I walk into a recruiting or when I walk into an interview. 
They're looking at the big black man, 266 six foot, 260 pounds, come walking into their job space. Talk to a white dude, you get a little bit aggressive, or you raise your voice a little bit, they take it as a personal physical threat. That's the difference. But she was not wrong on what she said about Hispanics. She was not wrong on what she says about illegal immigration. Black people need to listen to that because it's been killing us. Ever since the crack epidemic and the brothers like me were out on the corner hustling or whatever, ever since then, we've been, we've been the same ones out here now trying to work, trying to get jobs. These low-level paying jobs, concrete work, dirt work, brick work, pipe work, being, trying to be an electrician, all the jobs that forgive your past and forget the fact that you have a record. We're trying to do those jobs. But now we're being blocked by a group of people who are doing it for less money. And that's all it boils down to. They're doing it for a little bit of nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it's not right. And they're coming over, man, and they're just flooding the job market. Flooding the job market. Because they're willing to work for anything. And that's not racist. That's facts. That's a fact. You can look at it. You don't believe me? Go to any construction site. Anywhere near any city. Now, you can go to any construction site, any small town. It's either going to be all white because the white guys are protecting their jobs or it's going to be mostly Mexicans who are Spanish, Salvadorians. They don't like calling themselves Mexican. You know what I mean. So you all need to get with the program, man. Like, I want to feel sorry for them. I want to be like, nah, you can't stop them from coming in the country. But then I think back, man, there's another brother out there like me started from the ground up needing a job and he's having to work with these people who do not like him do not respect him talk Spanish all day talking shit about him he's having to do that it's not right it's not right man see it's liberals I've noticed that they just they just want to be the victim about everything everything is not about being a victim there is right and wrong there's right and wrong. And that shit is wrong. It's wrong. They're just flooding this country and just take jobs. And now they're flooding out the school districts and the schools and whatever local job that you're trying to get. All these white guys out here are starting businesses and hiring all these. they hiring all this cheap labor. Not because we don't want to work. We want to get paid for our work. That's the difference. We want to get paid for our work. $8 an hour, $10 an hour is not getting paid for your work. They wouldn't work for that amount. They wouldn't work for that amount, but they expect us to work for that amount. There's not enough people out here can get educations and college degrees and all that and go put on a suit. There's not a space for that for everybody in this country. But what there is a space for, for those that want to get the hands dirty. Those of you that want to get the hands dirty, they want to use your brain and use your physical brawn and work. They just don't want to pay you for it. So we can't really blame them for coming over. They're taking advantage of a system that existed already. In the 80s, this started under the Reagan administration. Reagan gave amnesty, and that's where it all started. And every administration allowed amnesty ever since then. And I watched my neighborhoods change. I watched everything change, man. Everything change. And these people do not like us, bro. They don't like us. They don't like us at all. They don't respect us. They think they're the new minority. You all better wake up, man. You better wake up. Candace may be wrong about a lot of things, how she 
uh, parades and puts on her tap shoes for these white in front of these white people. But on this one point of what's hurting the black community, you cannot flood an entire community with a different race of people and think that it's not going to affect the race of people who were already in that neighborhood. You cannot do that. I know we want to be bleeding heart liberals and we feel sorry for this group of people. Oh, that's just how we were treated. So they shouldn't be treated. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. It's killing us, bro. We're not able. Now I'm out here. I'm a truck driver. Just got my CDLs. I'm out here trying to drive a truck, trying to buy my own truck to get my house. And what's going on out here? Trucking companies are trying to undercut us by doing what? Hiring immigrants. That would do what? Drive for anything. You better believe it. Pretty soon, I, I, I think it's going to happen. It's going to be truck drivers out here, Mexican truck drivers driving for 30, 35 cents a mile. And they're going to push us right out the door, bro. You're not an owner operator, you're going to be fucked. And then for the owner operators, Rates are going to start to lower. They're going to lower and lower. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And then we're all going to be fucked. So we got to put a stop to it. Got to put a stop to it. I don't agree with the Bahamian thing with the bah Bahamas. I feel like he's, he's racially coloring the whole fucking thing now. But the thing with the Mexicans, y'all better wise up. Y'all better listen again. I'm trying to tell you. It's real. It's real. It's coming from somebody who worked construction. It's coming from somebody who got his hands dirty. Big boy out there getting it. Had roadblock after roadblock. From cheaper labor. Cheap labor is what they are. And trust me, we want to feel sorry for them. Trust me, bro. They don't fuck with us like that. They really don't. They don't. They're trying to act like they do now because they want somebody to feel sorry for them. But I can see through it because I've been out there. A lot of you all ain't been out there and got your hands dirty with them. But those of you that have, you know what I'm talking about. Especially you brothers out there that got to work with them. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You all better get with the program, man. Because it's a reckoning coming, bro. Either we're going to make it or we're not. But if we allow these people just to come in, just come in and take our jobs from us, but well, we in trouble. We in big trouble. It's TV trucking, man. I'm out. This is my review on the um, revolt, revolt panel, whatever they had. Some, some people they had on that panel shouldn't have been on there. T.I.'s ass shouldn't have been on there. Um... That other rapper, likes that motherfucker, he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. He did not belong on that panel. He had nothing of substance to bring to that panel. Diddy, you know better. You need to put some real thinkers, some real people who can really express, workers like myself, people who are out here, who can say to that uppity-ass audience that's not out in the field, look, man, they're taking my job. What I used to do, I can't do anymore because I can't do it at a reasonable price that can take care of my family. They don't have people like me. They don't have uh, people who out there working with their hands. They don't have real intellectual figures. They had Killer Mike, Candace Owens, the other sister, I think she's Black Lives Matter. She might not be Black Lives Matter. I think she supports them. Them, them three, the rest of them were a waste of time having on there, man. Waste. It was a waste of time. Diddy, you got to do better than that next time, bro. We got to have some real debate. some A real debate with real Republican black people and real, real debate thinking black people, progressive black people on that panel next time. You got to do better than that. It's TBE Trucking. I'm out, man.